What's up? Anyhow, I, uh, was looking back at my old Facebook memories, how they give them every day they, on this day, what you posted over the years. A funny story came up. And I totally forgot about it, but I want to share it. I think some of you might think it was funny. It had to been around 2007, I would say. Me and my best friend at the time were drunk. We just got done leaving the bar because it was closing. And we decided to go play poker. But instead of going downtown and playing, we decided to go play in Windsor. So it's whatever. We drive, we get across just fine. The car is an old junker. I forget what it was but it was a pile but anyway that's gonna be part of the story we're there we're gambling we have a good time whatever it's time to leave it's about 4 30 or so we're in line on the canadian side to get back my friends sobered up so he's driving They ask us to open the trunk, and I, this is a true story, I swear to God, I told them it doesn't open, and I'm sure they've heard that millions of times. Then, they look in, and they ask us, why is there a screwdriver in the ignition? This... Just can you imagine what's going through these border patrol agents' minds? I tell them that the only way to start the car is with this screwdriver. That's why I can't get into the trunk. There's no keys. <laughs> At this time, they gotta think something's suspicious. Anyhow, they tell us to get out of the car and have us go sit where the people sit. Thank God the car was insured with my mom's name because I was younger at the time. Legally insured through her and we had the same last names. Me and my buddy had no criminal records. They were able to pop the trunk. There was nothing in there. But after I thought about it, we got the car from my uncle, who was a big-time addict and drinker and so forth. And he was living up north when we went and got the car, so... I'm thinking to myself, oh God, he could have anything in that trunk. Luckily, nothing must have been in the trunk because after about two hours, they come and get us and they're laughing. They hand me the screwdriver. They go, here's your keys. Hand me over the screwdriver and tell us to get home safe. So we get in the car, put the screwdriver in the ignition, start it, cross the bridge, and made it home safe. But that's just something you don't ever hear. I bet they never, ever had another incident like that. I mean, maybe people committing crimes and stuff, but... For two men in their early 20s who really just went to play some poker and trying to get home, have a car 
with a screwdriver in the ignition and we tell them they can't open the trunk I thought we were gonna be stuck in Canada for God knows how long I don't know I thought the story was funny maybe not everyone will but Facebook reminded me of it today and I got a good laugh out of that. I called my buddy who I went with because I haven't talked to him in a few years. And we had a good time talking about that night in the past. If it was the other way around, if I was Canadian with that car, with a screwdriver, etc., you know the United States Border Patrol would have had my whole car taken apart and we would have been sitting in jail. Thank God the Canadian Border can Patrol are a lot nicer. But uh, that's my story. I hope you all are having a wonderful day, night, whatever you want to call it. Much love, y'all.